Hello again, friends. This is Dave from JavaCodeJunkie.com, and welcome to another episode in our Java FX video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to look at the split pane control. A split pane is a Java FX control that has two or more sides, with each separated by a divider. Dragging the divider will give more space to one of the sides, and the other side will shrink by an equal amount. I've already created a new Java FX project. So let's create a new split pane. The class is split pane. I'm going to call the variable split pane equals new split pane. Let's add the split pane to the center area of the root of our scene graph, which is a border pane. Organize our imports with Control shift o and now let's run the program. Here we have a stage with a border pane and a split pane in the center, which will take all of the available space since we have nothing in any of the other four sections of the border pane. We can't see anything yet because we haven't added any controls to our split pane. So let's go back to our program and add some controls to the split pane. Now to make this easier, I'm going to write a little method that creates a vertical box and adds a button to the vertical box. We're going to create several of these to add to our split pane. Well, let's create the method public vbox, which is the return type, the name of the method, create vbox. vbox, vbox equals new vbox, vbox. Button, button, equals new button. We'll add the button to the vbox, dot get children, dot add button. And then we'll return the vbox to the caller. Organize our imports, back up to our start method, and now let's use that method to create a couple of vertical boxes. vbox, vbox1 equals create vbox. vbox, vbox2 equals create vbox. We'll then add these to our split pane. Split pane dot get items dot add all vbox one vbox two. Let's run again. And I forgot to add text to the button. Let's go back to our method. And on the button, I'll just say button. Run. So now you see we have a split pane with two vertical boxes, each containing a button and a divider. We can take that divider and drag it left or right, and you'll see that one side or one vertical box gets more space, the other side gets less. Drag left. We can go past where we actually want to because the button gets mashed up to one side. Same thing if we go to the right. We can prevent that by setting the minimum height for the container that's in the split pane. So let's go to our method and we'll say vbox dot set min width and we'll set that to 150. Run it again. And now when we drag the divider to the left, we can only go to that 150 minimum width for the vbox that's in the left and the same for the right to the minimum width of the vbox that's in the right side. A split pane can have more than two components added. Let's create another one. vbox, vbox3 equals create vbox. We'll add vbox3 to our split pane, run. And now we have three vertical boxes in our split pane, but they're not equally divided. Looks like the middle one gets its minimum of 150 and the other two get the remaining amount, maybe or maybe split equally be between them. 
we can actually specify the position of the divider or dividers in our split pane. Split pane dot set divider position. And these positions are specified as a double number between 0 and 1. So since we have three vertical boxes in our split pane, if we wanted to divide the space equally among the three, we would specify the two dividers to be at one-third and two-thirds of our split pane. And we do that by specifying one-third as 0 0.33 and the second 0 0.67. We'll run and now the vertical boxes should occupy an equal amount of horizontal space in the split pane. So each of the vertical boxes occupies one-third of the available horizontal space. Again, we can only drag the divider to that minimum that we've specified for the width of the vertical box. Same thing with the third. Vertical boxes don't have to have a horizontal orientation. They can also be vertical. And we do that by changing the orientation of the split pane. Split pane dot set orientation orientation dot vertical. Run. And now you should see that the three vertical boxes are stacked on top of one another. One, two, three. And because we haven't specified a minimum height, we can again, again, drag that just a little bit beyond what we would normally want to. We can fix that again by setting the minimum height for our vertical box. We set that to say, again, 150, run. Initially, they get the available space divided among the three. We can drag, but only to that 150 minimum height. Let's maximize our window. And you see again that we can only drag our dividers to the point where we hit that minimum 150 pixel height for the vertical box or whatever happens to be in our split pane in that particular area. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.